All right, so here's the deal. Insurance companies, I've been dealing with all the hail damage that we had here in Redding, California and dealing with the insurance companies and just took uh, another car in and it's so funny how the insurance companies say, you know, it's $600 in damage and, and then when you take it to the repair shop, it's $6,000 in damage. Uh, our roof, the, the insurance adjuster came and it took a peek and said no damage and then yesterday I had a roof guy out and he's like, it's, it's, the roof is so damaged, it's unbelievable, you absolutely have a claim here. And the bottom line is insurance companies are about the money versus uh, the care or the quality, the treatment, whatever it might be. And so in our world, that means we have to develop the relationship with the patient first. It's not about the relationship with the insurance company. And so when you're communicating with your patients about the insurance, make sure that you're using the right skills to convey that it's about you and them and how you interpret their plan for their care, not what the insurance company is doing. Don't let the insurance company make you look like you're the bad guy. You're the one that's caring for them. So simple verbal skill might be, you know, Mrs. Jones, we're in this to help you figure out what's best for you. What sort of care do you want? And then from there, we'll take care of the insurance company the best way we know how and do our best at maximizing your insurance benefits on your behalf. And just make sure that if they're asking you to send a pre-authorization, show them the fine print, keep a, you know, a copy of a, a blacked out, a, a, a copy of a previous EOB that shows this is not uh, you know, a guarantee of payment and make sure that you're on top of it. All right, guys, Eric, your coach at charter.net. Take care.